In this video, we're going to look at dynamic microtuning in Ableton Live using the Oddsound MTS ESP plugin suite. The MTS ESP master plugin controls tuning, and with it you can switch and morph tuning systems. Plugins and hardware devices can be set up to automatically follow these changes in real time. For a plugin that supports MTS ESP, just load it into the session and it will automatically follow the tuning in the master. No further setup is necessary. For everything else, you can use the MTS ESP MIDI client plugin. This is a MIDI plugin, meaning it doesn't process or output any audio, only MIDI data. It is designed to sit before a synth, retuning it with MIDI messages in response to tuning changes in MTS ESP master. Live does not allow MIDI plugins to be inserted directly before instrument plugins, but Max for Live MIDI effects can be. Therefore, we have created a Max for Live wrapper for the MTS ESP MIDI client. Make sure it is selected when you run the MTS ESP suite installer. Two versions will be installed, one with MPE enabled, and they can be found with the Max MIDI effects in the live browser. Live 11 introduces support for MIDI polyphonic expression, or MPE, and the per note pitch bend this offers can be leveraged for dynamic microtuning. It will work both with Live's native MPE enabled devices and third party plugins that support MPE. Load an MPE instrument into a track and then simply insert the MPE version of the NTS ESP MIDI client Max for Live device before it. The default settings will usually work straight away, however, with third party plugins, you may need to enable MPE in the plugin itself and additionally from the device title bar right click menu in Live. Even without MPE support, Pitch Bend can still be used to retune a synth, although only for monophonic parts. The regular non MPE version of the MIDI client Max for Live device can be placed before any instrument plugin in the same way. If the Pitch Bend range of the synth being retuned is set to plus or minus 12 semitones, then the default settings will work straight away, although you can edit these if required. Some hardware synths support the MIDI tuning standard. This is a defined set of MIDI system exclusive messages for transferring tuning data, and the MIDI client can use these to retune a device. Live blocks all SysX messages, so to route MTS messages to a synth, you must use the output port option within the MIDI client plugin itself. The output port cannot be stored by the Max for Live wrapped version, so we suggest using the VST version inserted directly into an instrument track. If you are working with a modular setup, you may be using the CV instrument Max for Live device, which is part of Ableton's CV tools. We have created an MTS ESP compatible version of this, which will output pitch CV that follows the tuning in the MTS ESP master plugin. This is available from the Max for Live device library, along with versions which will work with the Expert Sleepers ESX 8 CV and ESX 8 GT expanders. We have created a Max package with objects that allow any Max for Live device to work as an MTS ESP client. If you are a developer of Max for Live devices and want your device to work with MTS ESP, visit the developer page at oddsound.com for more information.